Approved voting makes it hard to ignore groups of people. Mm-hmm. It makes it extreme. It makes it almost impossible, not absolutely impossible, but almost impossible to ignore large groups of people. I mean, there, there are candidates who win in St. Louis, totally ignoring the black community. People continue that when they're governing. They ignore large parts of the city. And when you ignore those parts, you get this, you get issues like high crime and high poverty. Like if you ignore uh, just protesters, um, then, then you're going to you're going to get results where where people don't work. The community doesn't feel like they're heard and people are on new, on the news and say and, and have great ideas. They still don't get them passed in, in a local government. People don't feel like their vote counts. They don't feel heard. They're going to move away or they're just going to. Uh, uh, rebel against the system. You have can you continue to have protests. Um, so I think once again the beauty is that it's it's not impossible. I don't want to say it's impossible from a policy one standpoint. Yeah, you can you there's a slim path to victory for you to to galvanize 35 to 40 percent of the of of the uh, electorate in a city. That's so slim though. It's possible to slim. What's more likely the path to victory is that hey. Um, you got to include folks. You got to be right on the issues. You can't run on a par- you can't just run on your party platform. You got to you got to include folks. Prop D and approval voting really solves a lot of our issues. 